Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to prove the Binet surface formula for ln gamma. Here we have natural log of gamma of c is equal to c minus 1 half times natural log of c minus c plus 1 half natural log of 2 pi plus integral from 0 to infinity 1 half minus 1 over t plus 1 over e to the t minus 1 times e to the minus d times c over t d t. Okay, how to prove? Well, uh, first I am going to begin with this integral. So, uh, we can take uh, i of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity 1 half minus 1 over t plus 1 over e to the t minus 1 times e to the minus t times c over t d t. Now, uh, I am going to differentiate with respect to c. So, here we have sorry uh, i dash of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity. Here we have 1 half minus 1 over t plus 1 over e to the t minus 1 times uh, then here we have e to the minus t sin c over t times uh, the coefficient of c we know minus t times d t. Now we know uh, this t get cancelled and minus sign we can take outside of the integral sign. So, here minus integral from 0 to infinity. Now, uh, here e to the minus t times c times 1 half minus 1 over t plus 1 over e to the t minus 1 d t. Okay, then uh, we can multiply uh, by 1 half. So, we can write here minus integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t times c over 2 d t. Uh, then again minus integral from 0 to infinity uh, here 1 over 1 over e to the t minus 1 minus 1 over t times e to the minus t times c d t. Okay, then uh, here uh, we have an easy integral and uh, if you integrate and then uh, applying limit 0 to infinity we have minus 1 over 2 times c uh, minus I am going to take this integral is equal to j. So, here we have j. Okay, then uh, let us evaluate uh, integral j. So, uh, we know now we have j is equal to integral from 0 to infinity 1 over e to the t minus 1 minus 1 over t times e to the minus c times t d t. To evaluate uh, this integral, I am going to take the substitution. So, this is my substitution u is equal to e to the minus t then uh, we should differentiate. So, du is equal to minus e to the minus t times dt and here uh, if we take uh, natural log both side we have natural log of u is equal to minus t. Then uh, we can plug in. So, we have uh, here now limit uh, we know 1 to 0. 1 to 0 uh, here 1 over e to the t uh, we know uh, e to the t minus 1 e to the t is equal to 1 over u. So, 1 over u minus 1 
then 1 over t 1 over t we know 1 over natural log of u minus sign so plus 1 over natural log of u uh, then here e to the minus c times t e to the minus t we know u uh, so here we have u to the uh, c times dt uh, dt we know uh, minus du over minus uh, du over e to the minus t we know u okay then uh, we can uh, simplify so uh, here uh, now we can change uh, the lower limit and upper limit when we change the limit we know this minus sign get cancelled uh, so here we have integral from 0 to 1 now uh, here if we take common denominator uh, we know u over 1 minus u plus 1 over natural log of u times uh, here u here u to the z so u to the z minus 1 d u okay then uh, we can multiply by u to the uh, c minus 1 so we have integral from 0 to 1 uh, now here we have uh, u times uh, u times u to the c minus 1 we know u to the c so u to the c over 1 minus u plus u to the c minus 1 over natural log of u times d u okay then uh, as a next step uh, i am going to take integral from 0 to 1 u to the c over 1 minus u plus here i am going to rearrange u to the c minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 over natural log of u d u okay then uh, we can uh, split this integral into two different integrals uh, like integral from 0 to 1 u to the c over 1 minus u plus here we have 1 over natural log of u so 1 over natural log of u du plus integral from 0 to 1 u to the c minus 1 minus 1 over natural log of u du okay then mm, here integral from 0 to 1 uh, u to the c over 1 minus u plus 1 over natural log of u times du plus now uh, this integral uh, this is a very easy integral so i skip this process you can evaluate this integral by using fine norm technique uh, differentiation under integral sign uh, so if you evaluate uh, this integral we have natural log of c okay then uh, how to evaluate uh, this integral how to evaluate this integral well uh, let's call the integral representation of di gamma function well uh, this is the uh, integral representation of di gamma function di gamma of c is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t over t minus e to the minus c times t over 1 minus e to the minus t d t now i am going to use a substitution so u is equal to e to the minus t then uh, we know natural log of u is equal to minus t also if we differentiate du is equal to minus e to the minus t d t now we can plug in here so diagram of c is equal to uh, now limit 1 to 0 then uh, here we have e to the minus t e to the minus t we know u so here u t t we know uh, here t we know minus natural log of u so minus natural log of u then again here minus uh, 
e to the minus t we know u so u to the c power u to the c power over 1 minus e to the minus t we know u and dt uh, dt we know here minus du over u du over u okay then um, here uh, now uh, we can change the upper limit and lower limit when we change the limit this minus sign get cancelled but here we have minus sign here also minus sign so we can take minus sign as a common factor so here integral from 0 to 1 uh, 1 over this u get cancelled so we have 1 over natural log of u uh, here plus uh, here u to the c here u so u to the c minus 1 over 1 minus u and here d u ok then uh, here we have digamma of c digamma of c now I am going to take uh, digamma of c plus 1 digamma of c plus 1 is equal to minus integral from 0 to 1 1 over natural log of u plus now here we have uh, instead of c now c plus 1 so minus 1 get cancelled u to the c over 1 minus u d u ok then we know uh, here our integral uh, 0 to 1 uh, u to the c over 1 minus u plus 1 over natural log of u same integral so we can write uh, now uh, here this is uh, j so we can write now j is equal to j is equal to uh, here diagram minus diagram of c plus 1 so natural log of c because here natural log of c so natural log of c minus diagram of c plus 1 ok then uh, we know uh, our first integral i dash of c so i dash of c i dash of c is equal to uh, minus 1 over 2 times c minus j so i dash of c is equal to minus 1 over 2 times c minus j uh, then uh, we know j so we can plug in here 1 over 2 times c minus j so we have uh, now plus diagram of c plus 1 minus natural log of c so this is equal to uh, i dash of c now i am going to uh, integrate with respect to c I am going to integrate with respect to c. So, here we have um, i of c is equal to integration of minus 1 over 2 times c we know minus 1 half natural log of c then <coughs> here we have natural log of c. So, we know uh, you can uh, integrate natural log of c by using integration by parts. So, we have minus c times natural log of c plus c and here integration of digamma function we know the definition of digamma function uh, the derivative of natural log gamma function so integration and differentiation are inverse process so we can write here uh, integration of digamma of c plus 1 is equal to natural log of gamma of c plus 1 plus constant well, uh, then uh, we should find the value of c constant. So, if we apply when c approaches to infinity, when c approaches to infinity, when c approaches to infinity, this is our uh, integral i of c. We know uh, i of c is equal to uh, 0. So, when c approaches to infinity, i of c approaches to 0 therefore uh, we can write here i of c so 0 is equal to limit c approaches to infinity 
now here we have uh, minus 1 over 2 times natural log of c minus c times natural log of c plus c uh, plus here we have natural log of gamma of c plus 1 we know gamma of c plus 1 is equal to uh, c factorial so natural log of c factorial plus c okay then uh, as a next step i'm going to rewrite this limit uh, c approaches to infinity minus one half natural log of c minus c times natural log of c plus c plus natural log of now uh, here we have c plus sorry c factorial so i am going to use Schrodinger approximation so here now we have c over e raised to the c power uh, times the square root of 2 pi c plus c okay now uh, if we apply a limit i think uh, you can uh, solve it you can find it c is equal to minus 1 over 2 natural log of 2 times pi okay now uh, we know the value of uh, c so we can write uh, i of c i of c is equal to minus 1 half natural log of c minus c times natural log of c plus c plus natural log of gamma of c plus 1 uh, here c uh, c we know minus 1 half natural log of 2 times pi okay then uh, we can uh, simplify here uh, i of c is equal to uh, now we can take natural log of c as a factor common factor so i am going to take a minus also we can take minus sign so minus natural log of c uh, then here we have one half plus c one half plus c then here again plus c plus natural log of now gamma of c plus 1 we know c times gamma of c c times gamma of c here minus 1 half natural log of 2 times pi okay then uh, i of c is equal to uh, minus natural log of c times 1 half plus c uh, plus c plus now according to property of natural log here we can write natural log of c plus natural log of gamma of c minus one half natural log of two times pi okay then uh, here natural log of c here also natural log of c so we can take uh, natural log of c as a common factor so if we take natural log of c as a common factor now here we have uh, 1 minus 1 half minus c 1 minus 1 half minus c and here we have plus c plus natural log of uh, gamma of c uh, minus 1 half natural log of 2 times pi okay then uh, we can simplify i of c is equal to here 1 minus 1 half we know 1 half so 1 half minus c so natural log of c times 1 half minus c plus c plus natural log of gamma of c minus 1 half natural log of 2 times pi okay then uh, we can isolate the natural log of gamma of c so natural log of gamma of c is equal to uh, here uh, we know c minus one half times natural log of c minus c then uh, plus one half natural log of 
2 times pi plus uh, i of c now we know uh, i of c we can plug in so here natural log of gamma of c is equal to c minus one half natural log of c minus c plus one half natural log of two times pi plus i c we know integral from zero to infinity uh, one half minus one over t plus one over e to the t minus one times e to the minus c times t over t times d t okay this is the uh, vinet's uh, first formula for log gamma okay if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching